Welcome back people, we've got some more fishing planet for you guys here again today. I'm back in Blue Crab Island, I'm playing on iOS. I'm max level on fishing planet on PC, on Steam and on PS5. I plan to get to max level on iOS. So I haven't got long to go, I have got premium so that does help out a little bit. But here today, there's going to be a little bit of fishing for the good old striped bass. I've been playing this game for a little bit over six years now, so I kind of know what I'm doing and I know what, where everything is. And yeah, <laughs> hot spots, fish missions, fish monster missions, everything's been completed. And we do have a playlist of just fishing planet. So if you're stuck on anything at all, you could always look through our playlist of over 450 plus videos six years over six years i've put into this game anytime i do live streams i'll always use a face cam and mic and of course when there's new updates on the game i'll always let you guys know about the updates and always live stream it getting into the new lakes showing you new hot spots and of course completing those new fish missions again all right so here i'm going to show you the map i'm on the spawn point literally right where i spawn off i am there where you can see where the boat dock is and as all i've done is i've just walked forward and beside me here, I've got my boat, and of course, I could rent a, the kayak there. And that's all I'm doing is I'm getting set up, and I'm casting out there to around about anywhere between 120 to about 160 foot seems to be quite the sweet spot for the striped bass. But this is not the only location. <clears throat> Now, I did do a little YouTube short video, and we managed to get lucky, and I caught a unique fish on the first short video that I did here. And I, yeah, that was just pure luck. Now, it doesn't matter if I'm catching fish here on iOS, or on PC, or on PlayStation. Doesn't matter what platform you're on. Wherever I'm fishing, wherever I'm catching fish, as long as you're using the same bait, the same hook, and fish in the same location, you will catch the fish as quick as I'm catching them. It is quite a fast pace here. So I've caught a unique here early morning. I haven't actually fished here in the evening for the striped bass, so I don't know. But there, as I said, there is another location really close by for striped bass. There we go, there's one. I'm sorry I couldn't show that long. When we got another fish on, I'm not able to show it that long just because I don't want to miss the next one. But of course, if we ain't got another fish on, I'll show you, I'll show you that fish a little bit longer so there's this location right here right in front of me and there is also another location just over the other side which we will head over there once once we catch a couple here we'll head over that way because i know in the night time over to the to the right of me which is we walk we could we can walk over the bridge but i fish just up there and then i cast over that way but I sh as i said i will show you that spot in a moment i have shown before obviously me here in blue crab island on pc and obviously on ps5 ps4 but i wanted to show you guys on the ios and we've been on the boat and we've caught ourselves some speckled bass and some bowfin and some other some other fish we've also shown uh to catch the unique uh snook and unique flounder uh no not flounder yeah we, yeah well actually we have shown you unique flounder but not on ios um yeah we've shown unique what was it i can't even unique snook and unique gar and we managed to get that in one video so that was really good but i don't know if i'm gonna get lucky again and be able to catch another unique striped bass in this video i'm not sure obviously when i'm playing on pc and i'm playing on on the PlayStation, I'd, I do make a lot of edits on there just to speed up the process of showing hotspots and all that good stuff. But here on iOS, I try my best not to make any edits at all. <clears throat> and the reason why I do that is because I just want to really show you guys how quick it is to catch a fish in real time. I want to show you, sometimes we do have those down days of fishing and the down days is just uh it's just it happens in real life you just can't catch fish it doesn't matter what you do or what you try just sometimes you, you just can't catch them now if i have a day like that i'm fishing is what i do is i will jump forward to the next day or if i'm waiting too long to catch a fish i will either jump to the next day or i will forward time 
The one thing that I don't do too much now is I don't hang around for too long because if you hang around too long waiting to catch a fish, it's no fun doing that. It's much more fun when you continuously keep getting those fish. Now, of course, me, I'm always... I'm always kind of like racing against the clock. I always try and put those videos out there as quick as I can. So for me, I've got to kind of catch the fish fast, record it, show you where it is and what I'm doing and stuff. And then, of course, upload it so that way you guys can, can do the same thing as me. So I'm kind of against the clock, whereas if you're not, so you don't really have to rush. Really, you could kind of just take it at a bit of a slower pace and you could just... Uh, yeah, just wait it out that little bit longer rather than being impatient like I do and even move spot, change day, change time. I'm going to show you all my rod setups. I'm really quickly going to pull out the map. As I said, I am on, on the dock, which I did show you. But I'm just going to show you the map real quick anyway, just so you can see. So it's highlighted there in gold. That's where I am, just there. And of course, I've got the marker there. Right there, that's where I caught the unique striped bass. And as you can see, it does say early morning, and I did catch that on the shiners. And then the last video we did was over there. We caught unique common snook and unique gar, which is all from the dock. So if you don't have a boat like I do, or if you don't have a kayak, or you can't afford to buy a kayak, you could always do it where you just fish off the docks here like that. And of course, there is the other dock as well over there on the left. But here on the right works very well. I can also, as well as getting the odd striped bass here, sometimes we do, depending on what type of weather, sometimes we can run into the odd, the odd tarpon as well. So that's kind of handy. So the rod setups, as I said, I will show you those in just a sec. Let's just have another reel here on this on this lure, see if we get any interest. <clears throat> I absolutely love this game. Now, of course, I do show new games, old games, pre-order games, electric bikes, scooters, and random stuff as well. But Fishing Planet is the main game that I play more than anything else. I couldn't tell you how many hours I've put in in total because obviously I've played, I missed the bite there. Of course I've played on PS4, then PS5, and then yeah. I've had to start this game from the beginning a few times as well. And I did that on iOS. Unfortunately, you're not able to transfer your PlayStation or your PC account over to iOS. So you have to start from the beginning, which is what I did. I started from the very beginning on Fishing Planet. And again, all of those videos of iOS we, I have got on the channel in our playlist of Just Fishing Planet. So if you're not even in Blue Crab and you're quite far away from Blue Crab, you're low level and you just need to try and get that little bit more cash or you're trying to find a way of how to find those fish faster, maybe look through those other lower lower levels um, of me fishing. <clears throat> now, of course, I do have, uh, I think... I can't even remember what lakes we went into, but we did go into quite a lot of the low-level lakes, obviously, because we was level one, so we grinded through, and now I'm level 54, so the new max level on iOS at the moment is level 55, so I'm going to obviously grind it up till I get to level 55, and then, of course, when the level cap goes up like it is on console and PC to level 80, of course, I'm going to just keep on grinding through and keep on making these videos. It's kind of hard for me sometimes because I'm playing on three different accounts. Playing on iOS, and then playing on the PC, then playing on PS5. It is it is a little bit difficult to try and keep every lake up to, to scratch. And when I mean to scratch, I mean to max level. Yeah, it, <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to do that, but I love this game, so I don't mind putting in a crazy amount of hours to make your game experience that little bit more fun. Of course, we've got the new boat now, and I've got the bigger net as well, so I'm able to earn that little bit more cash in that in one day. So here, as you can see, as I, as I did show you the marker and stuff, and we've had a few fish here. Again, no edits at all. This is complete real time. I'm now going to move to the next location of Stripe Bass. So to do that, I can't be bothered to pick up my rods because I am a little bit on the lazy side. So I'm going to jump in my boat. I'm going to pick all my rods up and then I'm going to jump back out of my boat. 
And then we're going to walk around here to the next spot of where you can catch unique striped bass. As I said, I have shown this before, but I want to show you guys on iOS and for obviously others who haven't seen that other video. So we walk around here and we come here, we can see this is it's not hard to miss. So you've got that little bit there where you can come across the bridge. Now you could fish over there, but I fish off here and I fish over that way. So I'm going to do that. And I have noticed that here... The peak times are better for catching these striped bass actually in the night time. So, um, at night time, we might, I think I'm going to jump forward, yeah. Okay, so skip forward. Okay, so we're not really at a proper peak, peak time there until 11, but I'm going to go with that. I'm just going to go with that. And then we're going to, I cannot see an absolute thing. That is insanely dark. Let's take the brightness up to the maximum. Let's see. All right, so about 80-ish foot. Normally, it's around about 60 to 80 foot. Now, of course, I will set a marker. But um, do you know what? Taking the screen brightness up didn't really do too much. Let me go into the settings here real quick. Um, let's have a look here, see if I can somehow... I don't think I can make it higher. That's my graphic settings. They're quite low at the minute. And that's because I'm uploading. If I'm uploading, it makes my game way too glitchy if I'm uploading and got high graphics. And my graphics are lower than normal. We did a video on graphics. Um, nope. I okay. We can't change the screen brightness. We're just going to have to kind of just fish in the night. But as you can see there, there is the, um, that bit there is the bit where the boat is. So I'm going to cast really close to there as well. I'm going to just kind of spread them around here. And this is where I've had a couple of unique striped bass in the past. Let's go to the bottom sniper rod. All right. That, I want to change that bait, and I want to change that hook, because the 5 ot hook is the better one. So let's quickly go to there. Let's go to hook. Now, it doesn't have to be a barbless. Barbless does give you more XP. That's why I'm using it. But it doesn't have to be barbless as long as you are using a 5 ot hook using the same bait and, as I always say, fish in the same location as where I'm fishing. As long as you're doing that, you'll be able to catch these fish exactly the same as i catch them so that one i'm gonna just kind of put there actually see that little bit of a marker up there i'm gonna go straight down right in front of that little bit there there we go <clears throat> but i will set a marker if we get one and if i set a marker and then i will change it to the daytime and then show you that marker in the daytime that way you're able to see uh, exactly where it is let's quickly show you the rod setups that I'm using here today now you can pause it at any time if you want to copy exactly the same setup as me so there's a weaker heavy chaser and a heavy uh, stronger heavy chaser so that one's at 52.9 pound line whereas if this is the better heavy chaser which is 59.5 uh, pound line weight so that's the stronger heavy chaser there and then we've got another uh, bottom sniper there. Oh, actually, I've only got one bottom sniper with me at the moment. Yeah, there's that bottom sniper there, which is 31 pound. And then we have the other weaker heavy chaser, which is there. As I said, you can always pause the video at any point. I have got all of these rods set to max drag. If you don't know what max drag is, we have made videos on those. Again, you will find that in our playlist. Max drag is basically me where I push my rod reel and line and leader and all that stuff to the maximum i push it so close to it it's almost going to break but it never actually breaks and that's uh, you can call it max drag you can call it balance and you can call it whatever you like but yeah most of the time i say max drag or balance and that's what i say and that's just something i just kind of made up myself but anyway first fish on and that's on the shiners I know that striped bass do love shiners, but they also say that they like the sea worms. So that's why I put some sea worms. But whenever I'm catching these fish, always look to see what bait I'm catching it on, and then that way you guys will know. So let's pull out the map here. I'll show you on the map where we're fishing. So we're still on the dock. We're highlighted there in gold. And let's 
go to set a marker, go to yes. So there you go. There's the marker right there. So if we come off, we can see that marker is just there in front of me. And as I said, here I have caught sh striped bass as unique. Now, I'm probably going to be able to get it in this video. And that is because, well, I'll be able to catch bass, but probably not as unique. And that's because obviously on iOS, I show you real time. I don't, oh, real speed was way too fast there. Yeah, I'll show you real time. I try not to make any edits on iOS because I want to try and keep it as much natural as I possibly can. I think I had a bit of interest there. I don't know if that was a bit of an interest or... Or did it get snagged a little bit? It kind of looked like it got snagged a little bit, but... I'm not sure. All right, let's cast this lure out again so i didn't again i still haven't gone back to the main menu yet and bought my other rod because i want to i want to use the fifth rod so that way i'm able to use four bait rods and put another bait rod in my hand but for now i want to kind of mess around with the lure rod as well because when i go for tarpon which that will be our next video i'll be using bait rods and then i'll be messing around with this lure rod so that's why i haven't bothered to go back and get my other bait rod yet <clears throat> so with this with the lure is all i do is i put it on real speed one now you can use real speed one or real speed two it, either way i try to use real speed one more than anything else if i can because then it's staying in the water that little bit longer obviously poppers work different where you have to keep striking and stuff but the lure that i'm using at the moment i got that as a free gift of 30 days in different lakes and of course we've got loads of videos of 30 days which you get a free gift in every single lake after fishing for 30 days and that um yeah again is in our playlist i don't think really i kind of needed the peak time to be between 9 and 10 and then we could have got Maybe we could have got a bit more lucky to get that unique striped bass. But anyway, we've showed you the other spot where you can get unique bass. And this is another spot to get unique bass. If you've got any comments, do leave it in the comment section below. I always do try my best to respond to every comment. And of course, if you're still enjoying Fishing Planet, smack that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. The next one, as I said, is going to be tarpon. We're definitely going to go for some tarpon, maybe even some black drum and red drum as well. We'll see what happens. Oh, hold on. Every time I go to end the video, it always does it. Every single time. It does it on every platform that I play. When, I'm gonna, when I go to end the video, we get a bit of interest. Is it going to run? Let's have one more cast on this because it's not running properly yet. Oh, no. Hold on. Yep, it is now. All right, let's have a look. Did we get lucky? Oh, oh, maybe. Oh, wow, maybe. Oh, wow. Okay, this is. This looks like a good fish. Oh, actually, this is the bottom sniper rod, so it is going to take a little bit more strain. I don't know. We'll see. Let's have a look. See what we got. It definitely is a striped bass, though. I can see that. A trophy. That's all right. That's not bad. The plane is always the dreaded thing here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah always the dreaded thing here in in blue crab is that plane it is insanely loud all right there you go keep all right well that's going to be pretty much it for this one i hope you guys did enjoy this one don't miss out on the next one coming tomorrow we upload daily sometimes it's fishing planet sometimes new games old games pre-order games e-bikes and other random stuff hope you guys enjoyed this one we catch you people again soon for some more fun and games i am out let me just quickly cast so exactly that location so you can see how many feet 78 foot catch you people again soon i am out